Welcome to the Parsha Perspective. Each week, we will delve deep in a weekly Torah portion to find a practical and insightful way to enhance your daily life. Thank you for tuning in to the Parsha Perspective. My name is Shalom Yamin. Each week, we will look in the weekly Torah portion to find inspiration that will complement your daily life and intensify your connection to God. This week's episode is dedicated in the memory of my grandfather, Yaakov Yosef ben Arya Leib. May his soul be continuously uplifted and his memory be a blessing. This week's Torah portion is Parshas Vayera, which has one of the most interesting stories of Jewish history. The story of Akedat Yitzchak, the binding of Yitzchak. A story that shows complete self-sacrifice and devotion to God. The story is as follows. God calls out to Avraham and he answers, Hineni, here I am. He says, take your son, your only son, the one you love, and bring him up as a sacrifice. The next morning, Avraham wakes up early in the morning, takes his son and some wood, and heads off to the place that God commanded him to go. When he arrived and got everything ready, and he was about to sacrifice his only son, an angel from heaven screamed out and says, do not hurt your son, Yitzchak. There's a ram in the bushes that has been created from before the six days of creation, just for this moment. Use that instead of your son. After that, God blessed Avraham and said, you will be a father to the greatest nation in the world. And your nation will inherit the greatest land in the world. Eretz Yisrael, the land of Israel. When God calls Avraham and he answers Hineni, the simple understanding is, here I am. What do you need from me? But it really means something much deeper than that. Avraham is answering the call to action put forth by God by saying, I am here, completely devoted to you and your mission and will accomplish any task you put my way. The statement of Hineni is not just here I am, rather a statement of mission readiness, being prepared at all times for any opportunities that God will put before us. Moshe Rabbeinu, the greatest leader in Jewish people's history, the person who brought down the Torah to this world, had his own Hineni moment after he ran away from Egypt, marrying Sipara, Yisrael's daughter, being a shepherd. And when one sheep ran away from the rest of the flock, he ran after it to bring it back. And he saw a burning bush and it called out, Moshe, and he also answered Hineni. A complete devotion to God. God giving him the mission to go back to the land of Egypt and to lead them to freedom, to Har Sinai, to get to Torah and to the land of Israel. In our daily life, we need to be ready. We need to be ready to accept any task, utilize any opportunity that God gives us. This may be in the spiritual or physical realm. Spiritually, this means learning and growing, obtaining new levels of knowledge, growing in our service to God. And physically, this means continuously growing, maturing, emotionally, mentally, opening ourselves to any opportunities that God puts in front of us. Like the special forces that conduct the most covert operations in the world, constantly trained to hone their craft, to be ready at a moment's notice to execute any mission that is given to them. We must be ready, which means growing and changing and being open to the opportunities that God puts in front of us. There is a great quote by Hillel in Pirkei Avais, The Ethics of Our Fathers. If I'm not for myself, who is? But if I'm only for myself, who am I? If not for now, when? Have a great weekend and a good Shabbos. Thank you for tuning in to The Parsha Perspective. Check out our website, theparshaperspective.com. Send thoughts and comments to theparshaperspective at gmail.com. Till next time, thanks for listening.